Cineac, you're really good at city skylines. There's no trout about it. Everyone having a whale of a time watching Fish Town. USA, the dollar. The UK, the pound. The Japanese, the yen. The Mexicans, the peso. Cineac, the cash money mola. No one. Seniac builds shellfish shipping route like Mr. Krabs' claw. Seniac, P.S. Dixon was our founding father. Fish who have lived in the undisturbed waters for centuries. Am I a joke to you? Guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish Town here in City Skylines, where last episode we finally started fishing for shellfish. We expanded the industry, the residential areas, and now we're making tons of money. We're making quite a bit of profit, and our bank balance is slowly increasing. Now, we do have a really, really large industrial demand, and that's because as the fishing industry is what's supporting this small little town, village, country, whatever you want to call it, we need to invest more in that industry, providing more jobs. So today... For the first time, we're going to buy some new land and we're going to basically begin the construction of our whole new area of fishing. The whole where the industry will eventually lie, where it will sit. It's going to be amazing. So guys, if you enjoy this, if you've been enjoying fish down so far, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new here, please make sure you do subscribe so you know when that next video comes out. But your boy is here, rocking with the capital city, Carpenton. Oh yeah. Now, for quite some time, I've been saying this is the area here where we're eventually going to move all of our fish into and where we're going to completely set up the industry. And the reason for that is it has all these natural kind of peninsulas that kind of come off, which, weirdly enough, is almost like a big fishing pier in a sense, a big dock where we can place all of our kind of fishing docks down along the sides. But... That's what it looks like right now. You know your boy's got to do a little bit of land reclaim and, you know, slightly man-made those little areas and add some finishing touches. So we're probably going to ruin the whole layout, but it's going to be fun. We got the monies. We have the monies right now. So we don't really have any residential demand. So we'll just leave that as it is. We'll leave the islands kind of ticking over. We got a bit of commercial demand, but we got this huge industrial demand. Now, uh, unemployment is at 28%, so hopefully we can improve that. Uh, these are all providing the jobs. It's all good, making tons of fish. I have this turned off, the port over here, because it's literally... Uh, we don't really have any demand, but I think I'll turn it on. I would say we, we are saving money from it, but then again, we are making quite a bit of money. So I think I'll just have them free-flowing, where they can come in and out, so tourists can come in and all that kind of, kind of stuff and just kind of see what happens. Uh, when it comes down to our water, let me just quickly check this before we go on a building rampage. So that looks okay for the power. Water looks good. The garbage is not so great. Uh, so at some point, we probably have to place something else down. Uh, we are polluting quite heavily, but we'll see how it goes. Right, it's time to buy some land. So I'm going to buy this tile. And I'm going to buy this tile over here. I'll buy this one as well, just to kind of get it out of the way, so i got this nice area to work with. We don't so much need that one, because I feel like I'm going to start over in this side to begin with, and the bottom, like, three sticky-outy bits. If, is that the correct term for them, guys, the sticky-outy bits? I don't know, but that's what we're going to rock and roll with today. So, we've got the road that we set up last episode that comes down, and it'll continue to come down. And these sticky-out bits here, we're going to kind of transform now into four, like... Sticky out bits. I'm going to call them... I don't know what you actually call them. Not piers, because a pier hangs over the water. Um, it's going to be like, you know, um, by the ducks. Are they just called ducks? I think they're just literally called ducks, right? I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a land reclamation and all that kind of stuff. There's a nice little ship down here, which we're going to have to kind of clear up. There's a nice little light, broken light and an abandoned lighthouse. Wait, was there people here before us? Is P.S. Dixon no longer our founding father? Was there people? Are they are they hiding in the trees? Is this is this like the Europeans pretending they discovered America all over again? <laughs> oh dear God, let's not go down that route. So we're gonna now destroy a little bit of the natural beauty in in kind of you know in form of industry. So what I'll do then is I'm gonna run a little um, key um, key wall going down here and then create a rectangle section. 
the size of this rectangle section and all that kind of jazz and the spaces and all that stuff is going to define these three as well because I want them literally creating a more square block capital version of the letter E. At the minute, it's just a wiggly E, isn't it? So this is going to be a lot of fun and also a lot of quite painful as well. I already don't know where the key walls are. They're over here somewhere, right? There we go. Yes. Uh, right, so let's now sort this out. So if I went straight, let me kind of get like an overview. If I went straight to, let's say, there, that will roughly be a good shout. So just ignore everything that's going on because we're going to sort this out ourselves. And we'll make them both, all three of them, 20 wide. So then we'll come back in um, to here. So 60 in length. That's 60 in length. So that one will go across here and go the same up again. And that will do the same there. So really I'm cutting out that bay area. Which seems like a lot, but it's going to be... We need to reclaim that kind of little section, that little bay, for all the factories and stuff like that. We need a lot of land over here because we can have a lot of exports going out. We're going to need to create another export harbour and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be quite complicated and quite complex, so we'll see how it goes. Right, let's first then... Oh, let me get rid of the trees. Hang on, props. Trees, all gone. No, it's... Okay, um, still picking up trees. Surfaces, buildings, no. Right, there. Is that all we need now? There we go. Right, and we're going to get this now to all be the same level. Let's pick one over here. As... Hmm... Right, do I go from the beginning? Like this one? Did that just do it? I don't think it did, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> right, as this one. There we go. So that is now all the same level. So we got that, you know, nice... Nice level plane field. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. We'll go with that then. And I kind of want to create another one over here. So let's say we go across by... Um, will it allow me to do go to 30? Right, is that 30? See, that's 30 there. And then we come down by another 60. And what was that? That was 20. See, and then 20 is there. That's nowhere near that one, is it? And let's go across there. Because that's 30. Right, right. Okay, I think we need to go across by 40. So we'll go another 10. There we go. So, as before, down by 60. I've already forgot what that is. 20. Across by 20 if I can get to it. There we go. Back in. We're going to have to anarchy this one. Back in up to there by 60. Right, we're kind of getting somewhere. Kind of getting there, boys. Kind of getting there. So, again, that was 40, right? Yeah. So, I cross by another 40. So, I think we'll do 30 first and then the extra 10. Yeah, it's easy to do it like that. And down by 60. Are we going to have to buy some more land? <laughs> I think so. Unless I make this one go back a little bit further than normal. Or do I want to keep that solid E? Yeah, I'm going to keep that solid E. So I'm going to have to buy another piece. I'll buy these two. Oh, it's so expensive right now. Damn. Damn expensive, boy. we got to reclaim this land. We have to. So by 20. Back up by 60. And then that can eventually just kind of disappear off into the distance. So these now, and if I select them all, are going to be the same height as what's over on this side. Boom. Our beginning of our duck area. So we've got these three sticky bits, which are all the same. It's it's the letter E, or if it's the letter M, or the letter W, or uh, a backwards E. 
I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it anymore. But we've got to sort out the land as well because some of this now is all on the wrong sides. We've got to, you know, settle the, the ocean around it. We've got to reclaim this little bit of a lake. And then it kind of creates the, the platforms that stick out to put all the fishing docks down. Uh, which then can sail off into the ocean, which we've got a good place for it. We'll eventually put like a an export area away from this, maybe like over here. So we can have some fishing ducks there, some fishing ducks over here. Then all in the middle is all the industry, all the, the fish markets and the fish factories and the warehouses. And then we have a dock in the middle. Nice. To export that cargo. So let's just get the, the basic land reclaimed. And if I pick a point there, let me just get rid of that there. We've got the terrain height, I believe. So we're just now going to have to mark this all over. Move up the brush size. So we might see now a lot of waves being caused. we just got to do what we've got to do, boys. There we go. It's annoying when it kind of flips over because we have to then demolish it and rebuild it. But that's fine. Could have been a lot worse. Right, reclaim all that. Reclaim up to there. We've got to get rid of some of that coral reefs. There's got to be a law against what we've just done, right? Destroying coral reefs? Well, we're about to destroy coral reefs anyway. Alright, bring that round to there. There we go. Got to make sure that it's deep enough for the boats. So this is what happens to, like, um... Just think of like all these small nations that are on islands and like they they eventually get a little bit of money like they've like i uh, what's the island right now um someone would tell me this uh it begins with an n i believe it's uh like a famous island that one time realized they could make a lot of money from um is it is it from um phosphate is that how it is when they realized that the the island the island, for many, many years, birds used to, like, land on it and then obviously do a poop on there. And they realized they could harvest the birds' poop and it created phosphate. I think it was. Or sulfur. It could have been sulfur. And then they can they sold it. And it was worth a lot of money. And the country, because it was a poor country, it was an island in the middle of nowhere. They didn't quite know what to do with all this abundance of billions of dollars. So they started doing some random stuff and they spent all the money. But they eventually left the island, which they had been harvesting for all these years, um, to get the bird poop. They literally destroyed the island in the process. And now that they spent all the money, the money's all gone. And they've also lived now on an island that was been completely destroyed by this industry. That's kind of what happens. I'm not saying that's going to happen to Fishtown. But that's what's going to happen to me. <laughs> right, I've got to delete now. There's still a bit of water there. Some of that. Unfortunately, the lighthouse is going to have to go. So is the shipwreck over here. Right. Oh, I deleted the wrong thing. I deleted the wrong thing, boy. Damn it. Right, there we go. Boom. So I think the other stuff we just kind of delete... As the time goes on. But we're almost there. We can now finalise off this little section. Alright, there we go. Whoops, a daisy. I've gone too far again as usual. Alright, okay. We'll roll with that. So that is then the first initial feature. So bring that down to there. I'm not sure how it's going to end. So I'll just kind of like try and... Wow it off a little bit. Right, there we go. There we go. This is going to be quite interesting now, isn't it? So we're going to try and move the industry over here. Um, still got to wait for the water to settle. So why don't we have a little fast forward session. Just wait for that water to settle. And we can start bringing stuff down then. So there's actually a shipwreck at the bottom just there. Everyone doesn't notice that. <laughs> Damn. Boats, they tried it, but they couldn't survive it. So you never know, needs to look like a kind of like a weird animal. I don't know what kind of animal it is now, but it's got three legs. There's its head, and it's, it's got long hair, or it's waving at us like, Hey, Sandy, how are you doing? It, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's definitely weird. So we've got quite a bit of money then still. And I think then in the industry, um, what fish have we got around then? So we've got the anchovies, and the shellfish is now even closer than before. Which is even more interesting. I like it, boys. I like it. So, okay, let's dedicate then. Let's dedicate these to the fishing um, harbors then, the ducks. 
So we'll go with just a general fish first. And I think we'll start... Because we can do it like this. If I placed one there... Alright, place one there. And then we try and mimic it both sides. So is it better to kind of anarchy it in? If I anarchy it in, I can then slowly start to merge them. Alright, one there. There. And there, so free fishing um, harbors just... Are they called fishing harbors? Yeah. We'll go there. So we just work with this pier to begin with and see how that goes. And then because we're by the anchovies... Do you know what, actually? Let me change this up. Delete, delete, delete. Right, we'll, we'll place one there. And one there. Okay, so we've got five on that side. And then we'll do on this side, then, the anchovies. Only because they can just come out and go that way. The anchovy fishing uh, can go... The, oh, actually, do you know what? Let me... Let me no, I'm not going to scrap the idea. I say, if I did all there, then I'm just, like, leaving all this untouched, aren't I? Right, we'll do two anchovies. And then we'll do uh, three shellfish going along. Like that. And then we do have a little bit of a room at the end here for something else. I could potentially put two more down. And we can really utilize that shellfish around us. So if I dropped one there... Right, it's actually quite difficult. I'm gonna, uh, I've got to unhook all those roads in just a moment. Uh, shellfish again. So I've got forty thousand left in the bank. Oh, can I get not get another one on there? That's kind of annoying if I can't. Okay, we'll just not enough money. Oh, I'm poor. I spent all your money trying to move stuff. Oh dear. So what we do then is we untouch all of the roads. Like this. And then that means we can delete them and place down our own roads. There we go. So that's quite a lot of fishing harbors we've got set up there. But this will be good, boys. This will, Trust me, this will be good. This will be good. So let's start then with a road. And let me change how it's working. And let's go for an industrial road. So if I bring it just to... Oh, it's going to be quite annoying to actually get across, isn't it? If I built that one just there real quick, that is obviously going to come down to here. It's snapping somewhere else, and I don't understand. Come on, boy, you can do this. Right, let me delete that. We've almost got it. And now he doesn't want to connect. <laughs> what is it doing? I can't get it away off that corner. That's annoying. Right, there we go. We finally got it there. It took, it took a little bit of a while, didn't it, guys? It took a little bit longer than we wanted it to. And then... I'll replace that there. Delete that back and then try again. If I make that go across again. Oh, it won't even allow me to. Right there. Right, we have to use the move it's all then because it literally doesn't want to do what I want it to do. I can't even select the corner piece of it. How crazy is that? Let me undo that. Okay, I can select it. I just got to move it. I think because this is now where this is. Oh, this is acting like that is positioned on that. Weird. That's gone really weird, isn't it? Right, anyway, let's go back to normal then. So I can now run that all the way up. Run that all the way up as well. And then we got the outer road going around the middle. Now, we can do all stuff in the middle and whatnot. We can place down a couple of fish factories, new car parks. We can do, like, dock areas, 
create uh, creates crates <laughs> to make it look all good and whatnot. But that's what we'll roll with for now. Now, before we get it all hugged up anyway with power and water and that kind of jazz and get people able to walk um, to work over here, we need to get this road coming all the way down. Now, as the money, the bank balance slowly starts to increase. I just want to check there's no other issues going on right now. I think we're okay. Okay, it's just these issues we've got down here. So, this road. Now, if it came down straight, that's where it's going to kind of lead to. Uh, but we don't really want it to go down to that point. So I think what we'll do is if I can get this. Basically, I want that road to come down here. Uh, come down there and then go that way. So I got two, I got a couple of options. I can either bring it straight down and do a road connecting off it. Or the road can come down here. Um, I think if it will bend, it will probably bend. Just to make it a little bit more easy as a handle. But I just need to come off this. Here. And buy 100 there. And if I just go up and buy another 20. Just so I can get my bearings to where that road's going to go. So that's by 20 there. And if I do another... Actually, we'll go 15. By 100 there, so the 15. So that 15 road here is will be the one that I upgrade to be that road. But obviously, it's not gonna go all this way. So I'll come back to about there. And this road here, if I come off it there to go up, there. I'm gonna delete all this. Right, and then if I create my bend, I need to come a bit further down. Let's go another ten. Let's go another fifteen. All right, so down there, twenty-three. Okay, right. It's oh, now I know it's twenty-three. That's twenty-two. Right, we'll go with the twenty-two instead. Connect them up so it bends around like that, and then we'll 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 do something like this here. And then we'll create like a center connection point there, and then these roads disappear into their directions. I'll figure that out in just a moment. Um, so let me go back a bit more here. And when does that? Okay, that's going to overcross at some point there. So if I drop that down. And where is the... Is it as simple as that? Like a slight little bend there? Yeah, I mean, that should work. I like how it has to... It's like he's drawing for the jungle, isn't it? It is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let's now delete this. And then get these guys. If I go all the way across... And then connect straight down, straight up to there. Do the same here. So like that, and we do the same kind of road set up to that one, and eventually over here as well. When we eventually get that set up, and then if I could pick or think about getting, what's going on? There we go. Um, so here is. That's across by 15. I've got to try and figure out. I come out by 10 there. By 10 there. Is that 15 across? Yes. So that is going to be the centerpiece to these guys. So I think my question would be then, if that is the centerpiece around about there, give or take. No, I, I say give or take. It's exactly... And we'll probably, again, we'll eventually do, it, like how I said before, we're going to do a roundabout up here eventually when there's, like, lots of traffic. Uh, I can see one being, you know, needed there. Now, I don't know how I feel about these connections being that close, but then again, we've got turn-offs just there. Or if I just completely leave it like that, but then these roads would eventually go up to there anyway. Or if I merged... I could create them as one-way loops, couldn't I? Because if I did that... And then coming off 
here. Right, let's say I did this a second. I'm just trying to think of ways in which I can filter traffic. So all that traffic is going to do is it's going to filter like in and out a lot easier. It's one of the things, we don't know if it's going to work until it works, but I'll, I'll leave it like that anyway. But we'll have these as little one-way loops as well. Right, going around. There we go. A little one-way loop. Just so, you know, it keeps the traffic flowing with the vehicles coming in and out to pick up the goods. I don't care how, it, how else it ever works or whatnot. I'm not too sure about this. I'm just not right now, so I think I might just delete it and then when we come to that point we'll come to it but just for now what i'll do is i'll hook that up as if you know that's how it goes and i'll just kind of see how that decides to connect as we progress it might be i bring this further down as well like to there and then the road connects this way for that one this one's a little bit different because it's on the in the middle but again, when we work with this and see how the traffic flows naturally, then we'll change things. I could also have a road continue to go up there and connect into there. So they might use a little slip off there. Again, this is what the thing. We'll just see over time. We'll see over time. So. Yeah, let's leave it as that then. Um, okay. So these are going to need water. And I can't. I don't think I'm going to be able to get both sides hooked up for water but we'll see let me just um go to there cut across come up to the middle there and all right just interested to see does it provide it with all the water which i don't think it's gonna There we go. So they've all got water. They need power. Now the power grids we have coming down again to a certain angle. Which is the one? There we go. Is that connecting? Yes! Is it? I don't know if that's connecting or not. Those have... They're blue as if they have power. <clears throat> oh, that's weird. I think it's because it's not operating because I don't have the fishing routes. But again, okay. We'll pause now then. As we get all these fishing routes set up. Because this is now going to be our biggest pain in getting done. So, fishing routes are going to be crazy. Because of the amount that we've got. Uh, so, these are our uh, shellfish ones. So, they've kind of got to go. And we'll kind of bring it up to here. To begin with. Oh, that'll be more than enough for that one. Is that connected? Oh, it's not even freaking connected. What's now? What's what's now going on? All right, there we go. Huh? Oh, is it because I'm paused? Can't be because I'm paused, right? What's going on with this? What? <laughs> you guys are seeing this, right? You're freaking seeing this, right? 
Right, where is the... Uh... Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me right now. What is going on? Right, delete the route. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to just continue to go forward. Right, we'll switch it to a little bendy. So just getting an idea of how I've stretched those out as well. Right, ta-da! Ta-da! Why are you not working? I've hooked you up. What are you now complaining about? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't, have I? Oh, I've just realised. I've gone for shellfish. And it's nothing to do with... These are not... These are anchovies. <sighs> Guys, I think I'm having a moment. I think I'm legit having a moment. I'm going crazy in my brain right now. It was the first two were anchovy ones, weren't they? Anchovy, anchovy, shellfish. No wonder. No freaking... Wonder. It's not working. Also... They're not even connected! Right, I'm going to delete that because I can utilise that for somebody else. Right. It's not saying it's connected. Guys, what's going on? What's going on when nothing wants to connect? It. Oh my god! I can't believe what's going on right now. I feel like I'm about to go mental. Has Fishtown broken? Is this the end? I think it's down to this. Um, it could be to do with that. It could not. Let me see. If not, I'm going to have to reload it. Oh my god, now it's working. I think that's what it was. I think these lines then, guys. Also... The way you set up your roads affects your your routes, and I never knew that. Right, is that one there? Oh my god! I didn't. Do you know what? I didn't even know that, and now I do. I feel even more annoyed because you don't have that option in your fishing routes. Also, I think these are way too long. Um. Yeah, these might be... They're, they're, they're obviously way too long. Right, so that is... Right, and like I said, so this it has to be a little bit longer than normal. Because it's our salmon route. Let me just make sure that... Yeah, they both turn on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, there we go. So I'm trying to utilise as much as possible. Down to there. These are great roots, boys. Follow the waves. Right, that's all done for those guys. What was this one again? That was a shellfish, and these are all just general fishing harbors. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> right. We're getting there in the end. Right, if you're wondering why my money's got, like, huge, it's because I just had a phone call. That's a phone a man about a dog, and then a lady about a fish. So, we're, we're, <laughs> we're back, boys. Oh, don't even start. Don't even freaking start. Uh, right, let me just finish this off, then, because it feels like I've been doing this forever right now. Well, it does for me, anyway. And, um... Well, let's turn it back around here and bring it back. And that is the last, then, of our uh, shellfish roots. We'll clip the edge just there and we'll kind of bring it back to base. Glorious. 
Uh, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Then we have the general fishing routes, which these are going to be a pain to, to get done right now. So I think what we'll do, we'll kind of bring it to the center and then run it straight out. And I'm going to have to kind of do the same for, e for every single one. Which is going to be so annoying. Because the way it now all has to hook together. Some are going to have to anarchy across each other. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let me just finish this one up then. So I can pretty much make this... Um, let's go for a little wiggle here. Because it would have been catching fish down that whole route. So I'm hoping that's 100%. <laughs> uh, if not, it's good. that's shocking, mate. It's shocking. Right, bend this round. All right, that's a little bit longer than the last one. But I've still got three more to do. Which is, quite frankly, quite painful. So I'm going to have to kind of like... Diagonally going across like this. Just for the sake of getting it all hooked up and working. Right, and if I then diagonal it back, just wait till I get stuff on this side. I've got to do it all again. Oh my goodness me, is that going to be painful? Right, let me just run that up. Which is, which one have I just done? Oh, I've just realised. I hooked that up to the wrong one. It's meant to go to there. That's got to come out to over here. And go to that one. Right, that's connected. I press play. They're all hooked up. And it's then just this one. Oh, dear God, boys. These are going to be some some ridiculous fishing routes right now, aren't they? Right, there we go. That's not too bad, this one. I don't even want to talk about it, okay? I don't even want to talk about it anymore. But it's now all hooked up. Now, they're going to complain straight away that there is a like basically not enough buyers for the products uh just because of the amount of now raw fish we're producing is too much for the fish factories to handle and all that kind of jazz so we're gonna have to build a couple more fish factories and so we're gonna have to try and kind of you know incorporate them in this area now a fish factory one Somehow we got nearly half a million. That's my bad because I got I freaking forgot to press the pause button. I won't be able to squeeze in there unless I kind of anarchied it a little bit. So we've got a little bit of time to kind of um, play around with this. So let me just see how that would look. So if I built a road going straight across there and we anarchied in a fish factory here, how does that look? See, it actually does fit in pretty well. And then if I put one on this side as well. So that one I've got to move over slightly with the move it tool. But that's that's all good. We can do that. Nice. So that incorporates two fish factories right on the harbour. In the dock area. So then got really far to travel. And that can then pump all the goods in there. Then we've got to think about getting some larger warehouses. Like the really big ones. To store the commercial goods. So, could I squeeze one just here? See, one right there would be perfect. Or I just incorporate them here. Right, I'm going to place this one here. Do you know how many pause? I think this is messing us up, this uh, power grid a second. Let me just delete this, and then we'll get it back in after. Alright, drop that there. And... Is it hanging over? It's right against the road. Okay, we'll go with that. That's fine. So power them. <laughs> I've now got to get all connected back up. So that should be all good. There we go. So it's, it's, it's a huge warehouse that we can now store the commercial zone goods in. Granted, we're still not exporting anything over on this side at the minute. But I'm hoping all this stuff works. Are these boats going back 100% filled up? That one is. I think so. I think these fishing lines are way too big. That's already 100%, so it's still got a long way to go. Uh, is that one going back? I mean, you can tell if they're going back 100% because they're like zooming. Yeah, they're all good. They're all good. 
Uh, right, these are pretty much getting filled up right now with the workers. We've got to be able to transport walk workers over here as well. That's going to be our next big issue. But I've got a warehouse there, which if I can just place down enough fish factories to, um, you know, process it into commercial goods, it'll just get stored into there. Whether or not I get sold or taken to the commercial zones yet doesn't really matter. That's not my main concern at the minute. It's just kind of being able to store these goods and then we can set them free and get a huge profit. So at some point, we're going to get a huge payday. It's going to be a ridiculous payday. Um, right. This is going to be interesting. Then. So we've gone from there to there by 14. So from here to around about there, we'll cross over again. I'm trying to get it to be a 90 degree there so it should be now space for another fish factory just here and there let me pause because that road hasn't connected for some reason why is that road not what are you, what are you doing road what are you doing it really doesn't want to connect does it no I had it done for a second. There we go. Well, that took a while, didn't it? And let's use the move it tool right now. Let's kind of push that over, push this over a little bit more. We've got to concrete this all off as well. That's something else that we got to do. So, complain that there's not enough goods coming in. I don't know how you can complain about that. <laughs> we got plenty of goods coming in. Right, how's the traffic? The traffic seems to be holding up as well. Uh, in terms of money, we're going to get a big payday at some point. It's going to come in thick and fast. So keep bringing in the goods. That's already 14% filled up, which is mad. It's got 110 uh, tons of storage in there. That's got only 99, and that, and that one's been there for a while. That's, uh, where is it here? That's got 31 as well. How are you complaining about not enough, you know, like, fish? <laughs> You've got loads coming in. We just need a, a little bit of a moment, don't we? We just need a little bit of a moment to keep it rolling. So let's uh, concrete this one off then. Because that is what we're going to do to all of this. Because they are our industrial areas. So we'll just kind of bring it up to the edge of this factory for now. As we concrete that area off there. As we are industrializing it. And that works pretty well. Like, look at it right now. Obviously, we might have like another couple of factories just here. But in terms of traffic, even with all the stuff that's there, the amount of docks and factories, the traffic seems to be holding up straight away. But anyway, we, we don't really have that many things going on on the island. So that's the, that's the other difference. But we'll replicate this eventually on all the other areas. And this one and this one as well to kind of create our little industry. And then once you've got all the harbors here, then we do all the fish farms and the algae and the seaweed and all that kind of jazz and stuff like that. We'll eventually place those in other little areas. Maybe we can harvest seaweed in the bay over there or whatnot. But this is just going to be pretty much the start of our industrial area. So we are going to need another export area. So we've got to put that in at some point. We have to. We're going to have like cargo ships for days just coming out of everywhere. Uh, we do need to kind of create it. I'm just kind of glancing around now. So we need that export, don't we? And I'm thinking... I'm just trying to think where the best way, where the best place for it is. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. If you uh, if you wanted to pause the, the video at this point and um, give me a good... Yeah, if I show you the water, th that's where the shipping lane comes in. We'll keep Port Dixon. This will be a new port. Uh, and then, obviously, the shipping lane is just there. Where should I put that the um, the shipping? Because I, uh, there's there's a couple of places I could pull it. I could obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, keyboard all of this area anyway. I could stick it there, here. I could stick it here. I could create this as a port. I could put it on the edge there. I could maybe apply it to this one. It's got to be in a good area for a good connection um, to the. So it, I'm thinking around this shoreline. But if you want to give me some some uh, little kind of um, suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. Right, let's see how this goes then. Yeah, we already have the traffic situation over here. So just for now, to keep it happy until we do place a roundabout in, let's just um, change the junction restrictions. Because I, I don't want to place any roundabouts in at the minute. 
because I don't know how the area is going to work, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, no, I need the traffic lights on. Turn the traffic lights off, turn it off. I don't know how this area is going to work, so until I have like a defined answer, then I'm not going to do a roundabout just yet. But we do need a bus route. <laughs> that is our next one. We do need the, the ability to get people to and from the area. So let's set this bus route up next then. So we already have two bus routes on the go, which transport 170 people in total a week, which is not bad considering we've got nearly 5,000 people living here. And I think this bus route, um, should we integrate it from the two bus routes? I feel like that might be a good idea. So yeah, if I start a new line there, stops there, stops there, there, there. It's probably not a good idea to do it like this. But just roll with me on this one. And this literally comes in. It will stop off here. Stop off there. Um, we'll get it to stop off just here. And then off it goes again. To complete it just there. It's, it's, it's an awkward one. Because we don't really have the right line for it. And I'll call it our new harbour loop. Because, again, I don't even have a name for this area. So that would be something else that you guys could uh, probably give me a suggestion for. Is what we call this new little area. So if I zone this off. Like this now. What do we call this new port? So it's called Cherry Heights to begin with, but obviously we need a good name. We called our first one Port Dixon after our dude, uh, P.S. Dixon. But now we need a proper one. If we can get got some like good fish port names, that would be really, really cool to add in. I think that would be really good. Um, right. Okay, so there's still not enough buys for the products. We need that export area, as this is now starting to fill up. So once we get the cargo um, port back in, then we're going to be dumping the money. And we're going to be making... We're probably going to go over our first million next episode. Without a doubt. Without a freaking doubt. And now our industrial demand has brought down. Which is good. So we should have now given loads more jobs. Which we have. Our employment's now down to 10%. Which is even more glorious. Holy smokes. So we'll fast forward then to give these the new bus line time to um, loop around. We've got too many buses on the go, haven't we? But if you, once all these have kind of, you know, been to their bus stop, then it should spread the buses out because the green the green loop has got such a direction to go. So that should eventually just clear. As time goes on. Any green buses over here yet? Okay, none of it. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's our first one just there. Coming in. Does, it, does this one carry anybody? Carries one dude. They might all just get off over here, to be honest. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Why you gotta ruin my fun? Why you gotta ruin my fun, boy? So this road here will eventually just come down and connect down to there. That would be cool. So we've got these main big roads and we've got these smaller, longer roads that take long longer to get to places. So that would be cool. I'm impressed. I'm impressed already, which is interesting. So, the money, we're making, look at that, 10,000 from the industry. Obviously, that's with the good exports. Once I get the second export area in, and then we've got double exports going out with this new industry, and we could really start to ramp this up, and then we'll have all the buyers for the products. So, the good thing is, by the time we build that export area next episode, we're going to have this be filled up quite high, and then I can literally go to empty it and then sell everything, and then we're going to have a ton of money in the bank. That is literally how it's going to work. This is crazy, man. See, that's not... Even the traffic's not bad, is it, really? Compared to the other industries, you would be, like, chuckle block right now. But this is... This is all right, mate. This ain't too shabby. So as long as we get the road going up to there, and then when we build this one and that one there, the traffic... The, the, obviously, the traffic then will be a bit chaotic, but we'll have more exit routes to kind of get things out. And obviously, they'll be all flown in a certain direction to the export area. Damn, this is so good. This is so good. Uh, but we're going to end it for here anyway, guys. Um, okay, the tables have turned. Or well, the turns have tables. Um, so, 
this is pretty cool, right? We're actually going to have the proper industry. There are so many boats right now. We are, we are depleting the area. We've got to take a look at the policies as well. Because there is a few, like, fish policies we can add in and whatnot. But we'll take a look at those as we get this whole area set up. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.